Hello, good evening. Can you hear me well? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. It's good evening, raining teacher. here. Good so evening, I, teacher. Hi, good evening. Okay, it's raining, so I thought the audio was not very good. Okay, are you okay? Are you all fine? Yes, all right. teacher. Good evening, good evening. Thank you, thank you for confirming. Yeah. <clears throat> well, it's Tuesday. The 24th, hi, good evening, good evening, welcome. The 24th of October, almost the end of October. We almost finished two more months and the year is gone. Yes, teacher. Almost. And when is the last class? It's coming Friday. This Friday? Okay. Before Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to scare me. Uh -huh. Will Sweet. you give us candies? Uh-huh, maybe. <laughs> Digital, virtual. <laughs> okay. That's going to be next Tuesday. Halloween is going to be next Tuesday. Actually, next Tuesday, just next week. All right. If we were in person... On site, probably we will have a costume party for the closing of the module. Oh, but actually, you could do that. Maybe you could change your, your profile photo because that's what mo I, I mostly see. So you could wear a costume, take a photo, and put it. I can do that. Doesn't have to have the institutional photo. But I, I like the idea. <laughs> we're gonna give prices we're gonna sell we're gonna send actually um some delivery that would be nice i remember during the pandemic yeah we were bro yeah locked down everybody was doing home office so whenever it was something they used to sell some deliveries for pizza or for food all right some people are still driving home. It's raining heavily, very heavily here. So if something fails, if my internet or electricity fails, it's because of the rain. October rain sounds like November rain, but you know, it shouldn't be raining anymore, but we never know. So we are, <clears throat> this is our session 22, I guess. 22, 22, and we are almost done with this module. Hopefully, you're all fine, as I was mentioning. And I would like just to get started. Let me see. Yeah, this is the one. So, this day, October the 24th, that's the this is a class 2022. I mean, 22 just. <laughs> yeah, that was last year. Attendance, okay, generalities from the module should be taken into account, okay, the participation. And we're still on this last session. Of, oh, yeah, by the way, I didn't see any, any answer from the, the issue reported yesterday with the platform. There were some exercises that you were mentioning that, the, I mean, don't show the right uh, percentage and don't show the right answer, even if you if you got it right. So I'm gonna keep insisting. And besides that, by the end of this week, you also should finish the final exam. Oh, I guess I have something, okay? So, <clears throat> make sure you work on it and that you finish also the last session, which is session. Station four. Mm -hmm. All right, moving on. We're gonna give some life stories. So once you hear your name and the attendance, you gotta tell us a life story, a brief life story. Okay, something that happened to you, something that you take it as a lesson in your life, something curious. 
something weird, something interesting, something funny, you can tell us a life story, right? So that's how we're gonna get started so that you can participate. All right. Hopefully I can listen to you because I, I must be listen to the rain. All right. Let's see. I'm going to wait a second. All right, I'm gonna put it right there on the chat. So everybody think about a short, brief, interesting, funny, curious, um, a lesson, something that has happened to you in life. As you listen to your name, you have to be ready. So I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to organize your thoughts, your ideas, and tell us what happened. Right? Once I did this, this, and this, and this. So uh, back in 2017, I did this and this and this. So I remember that when I was a teenager or when I was young, I don't know, as you wish, you can start a life story well, or... <clears throat> A changing point in life could be as well. So I'll give you an example. In the meantime, you think about yours. Um, well, a life-changing story uh, of mine would be back in 2013, I think. I was so a skeptic of participating in exchange programs for the American Embassy. So I got this uh, announcement on, I think I, I saw it on a, on a web page. I'm not quite sure now. Yeah, but I got the announcement that they were uh, advertising this exchange program at scholarships in the States. And I said, ah, why would I apply? But then a friend of mine who used to be my co-worker kind of, encouraged me and she pushed me practically and she said why don't you yeah do it i'll help you if you need anything i mean if you need any help with documents or anything i will help you and i didn't trust much but at the end i started completing all the documents and, and forms and, and everything they they were requesting and just like I guess minutes before the deadline, I submitted everything. So I was completing a lot of papers, a lot of things, and well, I waited, I waited for some months, and I thought, oh, you see, nothing happened. But then they were calling me like a year later that I had been accepted to a university in the States. So that was a life-changing experience because I participated in this program. I traveled to the States. I was in an American university. I met a lot of people. I, I lived the experience of exchanging culture, and interacting with people from many countries around the world. So definitely, that sort of experience. Of course, you can be shorter. I mean, I gave you an example so that you have the opportunity to think of your ideas. Okay, are you ready? Thumbs up if you're ready. It's raining cats and dogs here. Thumbs up. No reaction. I see no reaction. Huh? All right, Rhonda got it. Great. Anyone else? Thumbs up. You cannot do it. I mean, People see it physically, Roberto Saul got it. 
Great. Someone else? Ooh, man. What a storm. Teacher. Yes, sir. I I can hear you. What what I have to do because it's raining. I love you. In your house, it's raining too. Yes. Really? It's raining yes, it's, too much it's, here too. So you couldn't listen to my story. No, teacher. <gasps> What Sorry, a shame. <laughs> Very nice here. Aw, that's so sad. That's so sad. You couldn't listen. Yeah, and I thought everybody was listening to me. Okay. But you have your story. No, teacher. I don't understand what I have to do. Just tell us a story that happened to you in life. In life? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. Interesting, see. funny, curious, weird story. Okay. Are you ready? No, teacher. Give me a, a minute. <laughs> no, <laughs> and when I'm calling you on the attendance, you have to do that. Oh, okay, okay. Don't worry. Okay. All right. And it's almost Halloween. Yes, I have <laughs> to tell it about this. Ah, you're going to tell us a horror story. <laughs> yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. A scary story. But it really happened to you. Yes. <laughs> that is scary. <laughs> okay. Well, we're gonna get started. I bet everybody had enough time to think about something. Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Abigail. Abby, Abby, you don't have your story ready? Hi, you got disconnected then. Yes, teacher, because <laughs> it's raining here, so I have Wi-Fi problems. Failing, failing. Yes, failing. but did you did you may mention me? Not yet. We are just still oh. calling Abby. Okay. <laughs> but Abby's not even answering. Probably she's not able to listen to me either. Or she got disconnected or something happened. All right. So, Atilio. Atilio is not even connected either. Maybe he's going home under the rain. Elizabeth. <laughs> you gotta be the first one to listen. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Tell us. Well, I was thinking about this story. When I was a child, around 12 or 13 years old, mm -hmm. um, I was on the my friend's house mm -hmm. and um her mother sold choco bananas. Mm -hmm. And at that moment, uh, she was uh, she wasn't at home. Uh -huh. And we with my friend wanted a choco banano. So <clears throat> uh, we say, what do we do choco bananas? So we put the chocolate on the how do you say caserola? <laughs> on the pan, oh, on yeah. the frame pan. On the frame pan, okay. So um, we uh we didn't know how to make that chocolate. So we literally put the 
uh, the pen on the fire and <laughs> they just <laughs> let it burn. <laughs> <laughs> so you practically burned the chocolate. Yes. <laughs> and you couldn't make the chocolate. No, no. no because and, it would stay taste bad. And it's and yeah, and it's not that easy. I yeah. have tried a couple of times. You have to know some tricks to melt the, the chocolate properly. And the banana has to be really frozen in yes. order to get a stick. <laughs> Uh, so at that point I learned how to do it. All right. Nice. <laughs> After that. Nice, funny story. <laughs> but you want to listen to scary stories. <laughs> okay. Emerson Alexander Lopez Lopez. Present teacher. Hello. Okay, so uh well my story well according to the to the near day, you know. 31, 31st of October. <laughs> it's, it's a short one, a short one. A little funny, but I hope you enjoy it. Just, uh, well, uh, it was upon a time I was visiting uh, a friend from the university in order to do uh, some idea. homework, you know. But in that time, uh, her house wasn't available because it was uh, in... Uh, Remodelación. It was being rebuilt. It was being oh, rebuilt. Uh -huh. Yeah. So we went to visit uh, 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 his aunt near from his home. Uh, well, my friend told me that his aunt uh, always <clears throat> hear or watch uh, spooky and scary things or maybe some ghosts or something like that. I didn't believe him, but well, okay, we, we can go there and study and complete our homework. Okay, so we went to her her house, to the outhouse. Uh, he received us. She she shared with us uh juice and start uh, chatting, you know. And uh, he well in that moment she was uh doing the cleaning the house. He was mopping in that moment. And there was a little um ale that next to the to the living room, and this this ale shows the the patio or the backyard. Uh -huh. But in the backyard, there's always a floor too. But in that moment, uh, somebody walks, starts walking, and we saw a person walking in that place. But uh, it, it got very strange, very odd, because uh, we felt like, uh, I forgot the word, the piel de gallina. <laughs> Goose. Goosebumps. Goosebumps. Uh, so no, I mean, nobody was supposed to be there in the backyard. No, no. Uh -huh. And uh, we saw this this person just walking in that in that moment uh -huh. my friend and I got frozen <laughs> and his aunties and he, his his aunt saw us and got back his his watch to to the to the backyard and well she said <laughs> a few bad words for that for that, that scary <laughs> the spirit that, that goes, away. Uh, I think I can sh say it here. I don't know if you allow me to say it. No, the video. <laughs> the video corporativo in South Florida, please, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, well, but uh, that's what they so, all, all people do. To scare the spirits away, they, they kind of insult them, right? They're yelling, yelling. Mm -hmm. So she said, get the uh, out of here, out my of mother. Here. Yeah. Did you download watching that I wipe in the, the floor? So, so this person used to live alone. Yeah, she she uh, yelling him to leave leave us alone because she's she already wiped the already the uh mopped the floor. No, but this person lives in the house only only that person with nobody else. Only that person, only that spirit. I don't know. They they usually say that happens when, when you live alone in the house. Yeah, she's actually had a lot of time living alone. 
you know, and I, I used book, to live alone for a couple of years, and probably I never saw ghosts, but I, I heard, I mean, very weird things happening in the house. Oh, no. So yeah. in that moment, in that moment when she screamed that, we got unfrozen. So we went back to the earth, we, we <laughs> got connected with the earth. <laughs> Imagine in that house when I used to live alone, once a bat got into the house and the bat was flying from one side to another. You know, it's like, why is this animal inside? I was really scared. I closed, there were like some tragalut, you know. So I covered these these uh little holes on the roof and because I hate those animals. Then another <laughs> time. And, you know, I just got up early in the morning. Uh, I got ready to go to work. And when I opened the front door, a dead cat was there. Oh. Just in front of my door. Imagine. <laughs> Another time, a tacuacin died in the, in the front yard as well. So, so many weird things happened. And I was like, ah, I shouldn't be living alone. So, <laughs> all right. Thank you for sharing <laughs> that, that okay. ghost story. Let's see, Fernando, it's your turn. Fernando didn't want to miss the story, okay? Uh, hi, teacher. <laughs> I, I'm still having problems with the Wi-Fi, so really? I hope that, yes, I hope that. You don't get I'm, frozen. <laughs> yes. So I will tell a story when I was like five years old, when I was in kindergarten. You still remember. So, Yes, because is I remember and yes, and it's very to me it's very very funny story. So I ran away from the school. <laughs> I remember asking the teacher for permission to go to the bathroom and run escaped? away. Yes, How I did ran you away. Do that? <laughs> because I almost my entire life from first grade to ninth, I studied there. So the school was pretty small. And I remember where was the front door, the back door. and So there was nobody at the front door? Yes, it was the, well, the main gate was, was at the security guard was shopping at the store. <laughs> yes. So I sneak away and really? and then yes, and I ran away too because my house was literally next to the school. So it's close. Yes. So I remember my my mom was surprised, <laughs> but she didn't tell me, she didn't get upset. She I remember that she laughed too. <laughs> and but the sad story is that the, she dropped me off of school again. <laughs> she took you back yes. to school. <laughs> so yes, and, the and security guard didn't chase you. No, because he was chopping so and he didn't, he didn't realize. Me. Uh huh. <laughs> Imagine that would have been a tragedy yes. if something had happened to a poor child five yes. years old on the street. Yes, but I did it because my house was literally literally next to the school. So you were you weren't much time alone on the street. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was just a steps away from the school. Exactly. Yeah, I think I mean when kids live like very near to school, they, they have this feeling of going back home. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, that reminds me of a time, but this is it was a tragedy. It was a real tragedy. <laughs> I was I was in fifth grade. But thing is that and I still remember because it was a partner of my class of fifth grade that we went, let's say, on a weekend. We say goodbye on a Friday, normal. We went on a weekend. And the next week, we were supposed to have the celebration for a student day on a Monday. And I remember this kid, she was, mm -hmm. she was like very smart, very popular and everything. She was in fifth grade. She was even a cheerleader. And they say that an uncle of her had come from the United States and <laughs> he went to the beach. And the father of this child didn't want to let her go. But she begged for permission and then she went to the beach. Her uncle didn't take care of her. She died. 
Uh, when we came back next Monday for the student celebration, there was her mm -hmm. funeral. All the kids from the school were crying. Yes. Because Jessica had been drawn at, at the ocean. And she lived exactly just across from the school. So her funeral was there. I wow. still remember. Imagine how many years have passed. And I still remember. That was a real tragedy. Yes. And more when we were we are like a child, we I yeah. think well wow, we remember all that kind of stuff. Yeah. I mean they really mark they yes. leave a mark in our life. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Let's see. Thank you for sharing, Fernando. Don't do that Thank again. You, <laughs> no. <laughs> no more. <laughs> Francisco Ernesto. I don't know if Mr. Francisco is still available. Hello, Mr. Acuña, would you like to participate? He said he was not having much charge on his cell phone. That's what I read, I think. Mm -hmm. And he's working. Okay, well, we got with the next one. Okay, so not Juan Antonio, Julissa, Carla Ivania. I bet Carla is here. No, not today. So, Luis Javier. I guess we have Luis Miguel, but not Luis Javier, right? Oh, no, we do yeah. have both. Luis Javier? So we go with Luis Miguel then. Okay. Okay, teacher, nine years ago, I had the opportunity to box a bowl, a new house. Mm. In the street uh, is my house, and only two houses to uh, sell in, in this moment. Mm -hmm. And one night I I wake up in the middle of the night when the somebody, I think it's somebody, is the knock the door mm -hmm. from my house. Uh, and the first thing I think is if somebody tried to over the house mm -hmm. because they knock uh, so hard the door, but mm -hmm. I don't walk uh, to the the door because I a little scared for because I I think it's a robbery. Mm -hmm. Somebody tried mm -hmm. to 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 enter to the house. Mm -hmm. it, it is the first time. The the second time the my neighborhood my neighbor uh, told me. Hey, why you smash the the the, the, the door? No, the wall in the middle of the night. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I say, I don't smash the door. Uh, <laughs> actually, me. yesterday, uh, yesterday I don't don't sleep in in my house. Okay. Uh, after that, the third time, is somebody smash the door again. But I don't walk to, to the door because I I be scared again. Mm -hmm. And after that, with my neighbor, we talked about the the, the noises and mm -hmm. we put uh, no pusimos de acuerdo. We agree. We agree if, if somebody uh, smash the wall, somebody uh, knock the door, we 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 up. Uh, ¿Cómo sería? Saldríamos de la casa. We would. Go out. We go got go out, go out to the house for to check. see something uh -huh. to check. Yeah, the the first time we I I listened that somebody knocked at the door, but in this uh, in this moment we I walk to the the restaurant. In in I be very near to the to the door. I door the 
to, uh, per, sorry, I opened the door so fast mm -hmm. to try to see something and you know, Barry is, is in the in the door. The my neighbor got out. We talked about the, the incident. In, in, in one moment he said, Hey, see to 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 the house. We we see like a a light from like a cigarette mm -hmm. floating in the middle of the house. I think uh, somebody somebody coming to <laughs> for me. I I I enter to the house. Is nobody in the, entered in the house, and after that the the world is smashes. I uh, I think is is because in this place is uh, Maya. Maya, ¿cómo sería? Ruin. Asentami asentamiento Maya. Uh -huh. And in this house, sometimes we... we you still we listen, listen to the sound. Different sounds. Really? Different sounds. Yeah, but some sometimes uh, we have explanation. One, one day I, I wake up because the la sabana, something is... is uh, Put down the sauna <laughs> in this moment. I I turn off the life is a cat. <laughs> it's a cat, <laughs> but but I can explain what happened to the wall. What happened to the door? Yes. Those as much were, were never explained. Never, never. Oh my god! Interesting. And this is my little. No, it's a very interesting one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah in this moment, I I feel so happy to to get at my new house, but sometimes <laughs> I'd be scared with. Uh -huh. Yeah, definitely. Anybody would be scared. Uh, I I once called the police <laughs> 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 because somebody kept. Imagine. No, it's because it was just the night. Before my graduation, I was supposed to get up early because I have to go to the graduation. The graduation was going to be in the morning. And everybody, I mean, in the house, we we, we were like setting the alarms and everything because the next day we have to get up, and, and, I mean, early and, and go to Teatro. No, Teatro Presidente, I guess that's the place. So the thing is that somebody was like, making a noise with the with the portón with the gate so we're like <laughs> and mm -hmm. when we turn on the lights we didn't listen to the sound when we turn off the light the sound again we turn on the lights no sound and and so on and so on so i was like oh my god i need to sleep because next day it's it's an important day and i have to get up early so i called the police when the police came I turned on the lights and I opened the front door. And again, it was a blind cat. The cat couldn't see. The cat entered and he wanted to leave, but he didn't see where to leave. And the police officer laughed at me. And I was like, I'm sorry. I didn't know what happened. I thought somebody wanted to enter and broke the house. So <laughs> that was like kind of weird, but I mean, we were scared. I think I, when I was child, my family I scared my family because I I been sonambulo. <laughs> Sleepwalker. <laughs> Sleepwalker, yeah. Really. Yeah. Right now I don't know. But <laughs> you know nobody told you anything again. <laughs> no. My brother used to do that. He used to get up and say, "Let's go, let's go." He, he was sleeping. And then, then when my father took him back to the bedroom, he doesn't remember anything the next day. Let's go where? <laughs> yeah. All right. We got Magdiel Esau's turn. Is Magdiel here? Oh, yes, he's here. Hello, teacher. Hey. I am still driving. Oh, you have a story? Oh, you don't have a story to tell? Yeah, I have a little story. Okay. Can you hear me well? Yes. Um, when I was uh, five or six years old, I was in kindergarten. 
and today before the independence days mm -hmm. on september uh i had to wear a police uniform i i had to go a like costume a police. As a police officer yes yes mm -hmm. like a police officer mm -hmm. <laughs> and but two days uh, before mm -hmm. uh, my father uh, was making a metal door mm -hmm. and uh, I was uh, walking around there when the door hit me in my head in my head and I I bland on my head and I have I had to go uh, with my my to the hospital. Yes, to the hospital, but uh, the I had to go to the the uh, the, the Independence Days with my head uh, uh, with a with a cup. <laughs> Uh, like a police, a police, like a police. but in an accident. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but nobody know uh, that I have a a cup. Um, a cup. Uh, I don't know how do you say it either in the cabeza. A cut. A cut uh, in injured. my head. <laughs> injured. Yeah, injured okay. in my head. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes. Well, thank you. I can. It I can't forget that. this. Yeah, I imagine. Yeah, yeah. accidents happen. Yeah. Uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I'm now, okay now. <laughs> now it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My brother was, okay. he was coming back from the school and accidentally a truck. The truck, uh -huh. thank God, didn't crash him, but with the I guess it was with the pressure the my brother jumped from the street and he fell and he also opened his head. So he was taken to the hospital and everything, but he was fine, thank God. But we were scared because we were just coming back from the school. And then another another friend ran to the house and told my father. So he went to, but he was fine. He could walk and everything. And he was still conscious. But yeah, when he fell, on the street, he, he hurt himself. All right. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. All right. We go with Manuel Alexander. Manuel? Can you hear me? I guess Manuel cannot listen to us. So, Marilyn, where's Marilyn? Yeah. Hey. Hey, good evening. Good evening. Tell us. Do you have a story to tell? Mm -hmm. And currently, no. Okay, Mario Ernesto. Le había puesto silencio sin sin querer ya le estaba diciendo la historia pero no finishing the story Ay, all right no problem you you practice already okay go ahead Marilyn you're muted again No entiendo por qué se pone mute. I don't know. Yes. 
Ahora sí me escucha. Yes. Ok. Y yo bien inspirada y siempre se me pone en mute. <laughs> ok. Ok. Um, remember that when I was a little, we live um, in a house in the middle of many trees. Ok. Well, it was a, a farm, I think. And And it had many beautiful places, but uh, I remember I, I like to play with my cousin on a hill. Mm -hmm. And we made a, um, we call them that helicopters, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we made with uh, leaves, branches, and coffee beans. Mm -hmm. And we all ran down the hill to turn and the left that was left in the in the middle of the coffee beans okay and i i love my children and in that little house with my partner because um i think that is a beautiful okay oh wow nice so cute yeah, it sounds interesting I yeah love Uh -huh. But Eva. it's in this, in this time, um, yeah, I think that this is time because um, era como para los tiempos de cortas de café, uh -huh. que los cafés estaban como maduritos. I imagine. Y, It yeah, was y entonces tú, me, tú metías los, 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 los cafecitos en, los, en la ramita, cortabas un palito, metías el café, un café primero maduro y después metías la hojita, como que la cortabas que quedara como... Ah, como sí. dos triangulitos, sí, ajá, uh -huh. exacto. Entonces, nos encantaba correr hacia abajo para que volara. ¿En Dawes y en Santana? Ok, no. Where ah, is, ok. ¿Dónde está la coffee plantation? En Nuevo Cuscatlán. ¿Really? Sí. Yeah. I can't believe it. I need to go to that place. I thought it was in Santa Ana or in, this, in those no. places where coffee plantations are very common. No. Antes, antes, an, había muchas, muchas fincas acá. Really? De hecho, había un beneficio de café aquí en el pueblo. Really? Sí. <laughs> so Pero you, have, con... you have always lived in that place? Yeah. Um... Yeah. Um, 31 years. 31 years, imagine. Yeah. Interesting. Thank you. That sounds very cute. Okay. All right. We were calling Roberto. I don't know if Roberto is available. Uh, yes. Yes. All right. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna uh, say you a, a short history about. Uh, I think that is is a dangerous story, but at the same time. Uh, Kind of, kind of funny, right? Uh -huh. Okay. He, the time that I almost fell from a from a cliff, right? I almost fell from a cliff. Uh, that was on El Pitao Hill. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you are. I are I know where it there. is. I have seen videos, but I never been there. <laughs> yes, it was around seven years ago, mm -hmm. when I was I don't know eighteen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or 19 years. Are young uh, adventurers. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, uh -huh. absolutely. So uh, there are a part that you have to clean the mountain, right? Uh -huh. You have to cross, and there are a part that you have to cross a, a cliff mm -hmm. through a, a, a tree. Mm -hmm. And there are a cliff, a, a big cliff, and you have to pass to uh, another lado. I don't, okay, I don't know. the other side. On the other side, mm -hmm. it's through a, a tree only where oh, there are. Oh, really? Only... It's like a bridge, and you have to walk on the on the on this wood log. Yes, yes, mm. yes, and where the, there are only cables where you have to hold on, and it's very <laughs> very dangerous for. Uh, and obviously. people do it for fun. Yes, yes, people do for fun, uh, because uh, in, in the other side there are a, a beautiful. Uh, vista views beautiful but landscape views yes uh -huh. basically right and there are many people that 
they, they dare to cross the tree and there are many people that don't, don't, no, dare. No, don't do it. Uh, uh -huh. Don't do it, yes. And I say, what could happen, <laughs> right? <laughs> I could lose so, my life, but that's okay. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it was okay. Mm -hmm. So and you I almost tried... fell. Yes, because there are in a in a in the final part, uh -huh. there are a, a, some kind of branches, right? A kind of branches uh -huh. of, of the tree. Uh -huh. So I fell. I I remember that. I took a, a bad step with my foot. So I delise, delisar. Slipped. I slipped, yes. And I remember that I tried to, to hold, I don't know, the branch in, in, the, in the cable where I, I go. Yes, I. In, it was a, a kind of funny for me because <laughs> I only hear a, a lot of people shooting me, uh, be careful, you will fall, you know. <laughs> Um, I, and, and for me, is uh, my priority is look in front of me. I I try to don't look down down mm -hmm. the tree because mm -hmm. it was a little <laughs> scared. Yeah. So I I am here. <laughs> you, you survive. Uh, you could hold yourself yeah. and not fall. You, you so, yes. Yes. Oh, nice. And do you uh, continue? People. You continue doing this type of adventures? Yes, yeah, I continue. Yes, I. What I other places have you visited? Sorry. What other places besides El Pital have you visited? Uh, two times. Two times. Uh huh. But he besides, was. The, the, besides El Pital, uh, have you been to Santa Ana volcano or any other place? Uh, yes, Santa Ana. In another place, but uh, same to the that history is the, the first time. All right, yes. nice. Well, thank you. That was quite interesting. <laughs> All <laughs> yes. right, just be careful when you go on those trips. <laughs> All right, yes, now, yes, <laughs> you should. Okay, we go with Ronald. Uh, hello. Uh, hello. Uh, exactly uh, a scary story that I was experienced. I don't have for in first experience, but uh, I I know a story that uh, that I have heard um, when I was in college. I I live in a in a housing uh, that I has an alliance with the with the college and its property of a Catholic association mm -hmm. in the country. Mm -hmm. uh, so this place, um, a friend that I live that I live there too, um, they they told the story that uh, that one uh, one time they visit the how do you say the alcaldia the the town the, mm -hmm. uh, the, the city hall of uh, of San Salvador mm -hmm. and they found that the place previously maybe 40 or 50 years ago it was like a orphanage or really? uh, is something like aha uh -huh, uh, like uh, uh -huh, orphanage or or a clinic um, for abandoned abandoned kids Children. or something like or something like that but it mm -hmm. was revealed and was adapted to make a a, a college a college housing mm -hmm. uh, for for people that is studying in the university mm -hmm. so they told the stories that they have experienced as for example one one time the the girlfriend of uh, of somebody that lives here mm -hmm. um she was she was a uh, visiting him and she told she told him that uh, he was uh, that she she saw a kids playing uh, around or 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 listen kids playing or something like that. Mm -hmm. So and uh, many other people uh, told the stories that they they experienced, for example, knock uh, knocking in the door at uh, at midnight mm -hmm. or or closing the doors. So I never experienced, but uh, maybe I believe that it would that uh, that something could. Uh, could be here and, and sometimes I I 
I still was starting at 2 a.m. and I was the last one to to uh, to get uh, to go up uh, to the to the rooms because uh -huh. uh, between the the rooms and the and the study rooms uh, there was a basketball court. So oh. sometimes I so you have uh, to go across the, the basketball court. Yes, at uh, 2 a.m. Uh, or 2, I uh, had 2, 2 30 a.m. So and where is I that was. House? A, where is that house located? I have the curiosity. Uh, is this, um, is uh, the college housing of, uh, I forget Emil it, Emilian Institute? The <laughs> really? Emilian Institute. Uh -huh. <laughs> because our students that study at the same, they stay there too. Yes, yes, uh -huh. the, uh -huh. it, it was my case. Uh -huh. <laughs> so th th there was a story. So I never experienced a first a first hand experience like uh, I that I saw something, mm -hmm. but I, I don't know. I, I'm not I'm not a very superstitious person, but uh, I feel uh, red vibes. I, there I was feel something in the air. Uh -huh. <laughs> so oh when God. I uh, when, when I finished starting at 2 a.m., I, I got up running <laughs> to <laughs> to my room. Uh -huh. <laughs> I didn't want to be. Uh, there is I didn't want to. I didn't want to be scared like that. <laughs> oh my god! And you started at the same. Uh, yes. Uh huh. Ah, nice. I didn't know you have graduated from the same. Interesting. That's why you studied economy. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Interesting. Did you get a scholarship? Uh, yes, I, I got a scholarship for uh, uh, uh because I I went uh, from a national institute to uh, where I I went from a public institution so they mm -hmm. have a program to mm -hmm. uh -huh, to uh, to make more accessible. Yeah, uh -huh. nice. I went to a to a graduation from from my former students. From the uh, foundation, okay. they they were twins. So uh, they got the uh, cloudy. So maybe that I, was your graduation too. <laughs> no, no, but I I think that I you know that them. I know them. Uh, uh, Josué Cornejo and David Cornejo. Uh -huh. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. What they, a small they world. Were, <laughs> they they were they were um uh, uh, one year after my. I, uh, after my graduation, I was just... I was in their graduation. It was wonderful. It was my first time in a graduation in the same. Ah, okay. Uh huh. And, and they got the cum laude. We were so very proud of them. Uh huh. Uh, those kiddos. Nice. So I was their teacher of English in the in the foundation when they but they have gotten so many scholarships. Those kiddos are super talented. Even, yes, totally. Yeah, even. The highest score in Pies, Josue got a, a grant from Minel. Ah, okay. Yeah, uh -huh. and, and their mom is a teacher too. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. Nice. How do we connect <laughs> these stories, you see? Yes, okay. at, <laughs> at the end, all we are, all, all we are connected. I, I, the, I don't know what I was, what I was, what I was talking. Uh -huh. um, maybe a podcast or something in uh, some program in the radio that it says a theory that uh, we are uh, between five or six connections with somebody exactly. uh, that, that is uh -huh, that I know something that I know somebody that I know somebody uh -huh. that I know uh -huh, the, imagine and the we person. have never <laughs> we haven't even seen each other in, in life uh -huh. <laughs> so it, it's Especially the, in the country that is a, that is a small country. It is. It is small a, 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 at the end, all we are connected yeah. uh, through somebody. Yeah, and, and after them, it was Fatima Ruiz. Fatima uh, graduated as well from, from the foundation. Ah, uh, okay. I, uh -huh. I, I maybe I, uh, I know her, but she was. Uh, but she was uh, many after years, uh, yeah. maybe yeah. two or three years. She just after. graduated. She just graduated. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And now she's working for a company from Europe. Ah, oh, okay. She, she's doing home office. She's living in the countryside now. She went back to her town. She said, no, I'm mm -hmm. a foreigner here. I don't, I don't want to mm -hmm. be here. <laughs> but 
she is she's really you know like blessed because she's uh -huh. working for 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 black folk and she's just doing home home office uh -huh. with all the benefits okay. of she as if she was in europe but she oh, said she okay. was gonna she was gonna move i don't know what what has happened lately i haven't talked to her i think last time i talked to her was last month Oh, wow. okay, nice. What a uh -huh. coincidence. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you for sharing. Imagine how we got to this point. All right. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we go with Victor. I don't know if Victor is available. Let us know, please. Victor. No. We then. Oh, Vidal is not here either. Well, dear, I bet well, dear won't miss the opportunity. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hey, good evening. Okay. Um... Home, safe and sound. Hmm? Home? Uh, Are you at home already? Yes. Yeah, I, right. am, I am home. Okay. Do you think of a story? Um well um um there was a time mm -hmm. that it was like very complicated for me. It's like I have uh, the pressure of two job and I have to do the test. And besides that, I remember that it was the time that I finished a, a relationship, and the thing doesn't get, uh, don't doesn't finish very well between the girl and I. Yeah, life and we was were, tough by that point. Yeah, and we were like, we we better don't see each other again. Mm -hmm. And it was and two days before that. Uh, no, after that, after that, uh, I have to do service. And for my bad luck, I remember that first we, we entered in the department, in her department, in the department that she lives. Then we entered in the municipio, then in the zone that she lives. And when we have to, to, to be in the place that, because that's like a plan, we were in her colony. <laughs> and I have to do the service there. And I found her, and she wasn't very pleased to see me. I was, <laughs> hello. <laughs> May I um, have this service? <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, I, um, I have. Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable, and I, it's like, I have such bad luck that in the first day that I have to do this, I have to be, I mean, this guy is like, it's random the decision that where we have to go, mm -hmm. and I have to be exactly in that zone. So, but it was a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. Thank God. All right. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Very great. All right. And Carlos Alberto? Not connected. All right, thank you. That was pretty cool. You're sharing your stories. That's awesome. Okay, let me. Okay, let me just uh remind of the lesson we are studying. Uh, practically, I mean, we're done, so we're just gonna have a refresh of some content we started yesterday. Let me, let me see, let me see. Yeah, right here. Okay. Yes. So we practically practice this conversation. We were discussing, okay. Uh, yeah, we were trying to figure out about the issues with misplacing the, the articles or the things. And then we were working on exercises when we add the suffix er. Suffix, it's a syllable. 
write or a letter or kind of a word probably that we add at the end of, a, of another word to change the meaning. So we have this explanation from your manual that it says, a suffix is a letter or a group of letters added at the end of a word which makes a new word. The new word is most often a different word category from the original word. So as I was telling you yesterday, from the verb we add ER and we get a noun. So we got sing, singer, teach, teacher, paint, painter, wash, washer, right? So there are so many words that are made that way. So now suffixes make a verb into a noun. ER or IER or to the ending of verb to make a noun. In this case, the nouns are the names we use to designate people's occupations or labor. So yesterday we uh, worked only with ER, but remember that could be ER, I, E, R, N, or, yet, er, yet, or. So we got manufacturer, manufacturer, supply, supplier, distribute, distributor, manage, manager, retail, retailer, Wholesale, wholesaler, sell seller. So we have this exercise. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to work on these five sentences. They're very few. And then we're going to have some other exercises, okay? So let's work on them. I'll give you a couple of minutes. I'll just go and get some water.
Finish? Yes. Done. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Gotta get the circle. Okay. The employees want to, oh, sorry, the employees want the manage or the manager to organize the lunch right? manager the manage right they distribute or they distribute or the products all around the country distribute distribute here we need the work right venture accounts provide reassurance to the manufacturer or to the manufacturers manufacturers mm -hmm. we need the now and the accuracy of the inventory can influence the stock required by a retail or by retailer's store. By a retail. Mm -hmm. Because we got the store, right? So by a retail store. The supplier or the supplier needs us to keep track of how much product is left. The supplier. The supplier. All right. There you go. Okay, let me, let me close this and let me share a link for you to work on this. And similar exercises, just okay. I know it's a lot, but maybe you don't need to complete everything as you just say it. But if you want, you can type. I mean, it's fine. Okay. Or maybe one person can just be saying the noun or the verb and vice versa. Or exchanging.
All right, did you finish? Were you able to finish? What's a little bit long, right? So just to mention some of the nouns made from the verse, we got on the column A, let me see, let me see, yes. Box, boxer, bill, builder, buy, buyer, call, caller, camp, camper, clean, cleaner, client, climber, command, commander, cook, cooker, depend, defender, design, designer, develop, developer, dream, dreamer, drink, drinker, dry, dryer, earn, earn. And export, exporter, firefighter, extinguish, extinguisher, farm, farmer. All right. So were you able to finish the first column? Yes, the first uh, column. No issues, no problems? Just with the... Spelling. No, with, with the right. Because I put, I just add ER. ER, and I think it to is, all of them. <laughs> uh, no, but I think it is... Oh, some of them... ER. Okay, ER and IER. Uh -huh. uh huh. Yes, extinguisher, farmer, flyer, founder, golfer, heater, hunter, jumper, interviewer, keeper, killer, leader, listener, murder, murderer, <laughs> painter, oh, owner, painter, player, plumber, performer, poacher, presenter, printer, publisher, reader, recorder, offender, opener, employer. An entertainer, right? For the column two, adventurer, advertiser, advisor, baker, commuter, composer, computer, consumer, diver, dancer, decoder, driver, racer, examiner, explorer, fertilizer, tracer, and deck two. Lecturer. All right. Next column. Would you like to continue? Is maker, manager, miner, manufacturer, observer, piper, organizer, producer, ruler, provider, receiver, rescuer, shaker, smoker, user, striker, voter, and writer. Mm -hmm. And the third column? Programmer. The second one, I don't know, is stream, but it's streamer. Streamer. But this, you got to double the last. And yes, the last consonant. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Then planner, shopper, prop, proper is I got wrong. Popular. Then controller, modifier, mm -hmm. supplier, warrior, prisoner, officer, and lawyer. Uh huh. Those are irregulars because you change the Y for I E R. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And the last one that you just add the Y, all right? So you have a broader idea now of how many nouns we can make out of verbs by adding the suffix ER. Okay. Well, there was a still another exercise on the manual that I just wanna give you the time for you to think of the possible order. Okay, so this definitely has to do with the steps for a counting program. It says number the steps for a simple counting program, compare answers with another pair. So the first one is already done, which is the first step. It's a select 200, select 200 items, parts, products, or finished goods. So it could be any of them, right? Items, or parts, or products, or finished goods from your inventory for week one. So you gotta continue, which is number two, number three, number four. I bet they're not in order, right? So you gotta identify which should be the next one. Keep track of daily accuracy, variance and percentages. Divide them into count of 50 a day from Tuesday through Friday. Select another 200 parts, products, finished goods from the inventory for week two. 
localize calls a bearer and correct inventory record, accurately count and report all top items. Then keep checking until accuracy exceeded 97% of minimum of two weeks. So give you some minutes, try to put them in the right order as you think it should be the count in invention.
All right. Which one do you think should be number two? Huh? So the first one is already done. Select 200 items, parts, products, or finished goods from your inventory for week one. Which should be number two? Um, maybe divide. Divide counts of 50 a day from Tuesday through Friday. But I, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Anyone? Has a different option. Because another way to do it is maybe start from the bottom, mm -hmm. from the number seven. And maybe the last one, keep checking mm -hmm. until currency exceeds. 97% is the last one. Mm -hmm. So this and one should be the, the number seven. I think. Okay, let's put it as number seven. Let's see. So okay. number six could, could be select another 200 parts. For week two. Mm -hmm. That would be number six. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Number five. I put Accurately count and record all items. Okay. We should have someone in this area <laughs> with experience because I'm not quite sure. And I, and I was, no. yeah, yeah I was do I. doing I research. I have like a background to do this. Uh -huh. I was doing research, but very little is found. Mm -hmm. And I don't and and I don't have a answer key or anything, so I was like, oh my god, what <laughs> what should this be done like? Uh huh. Number four, the errors. Could it be? Yes. Okay. And Number three is keep, keep track. track. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's three. And then this one should be the number two. Yes, well, who knows? <laughs> okay, let's hope for the best. <laughs> Maybe somebody can give us some green light. All right, let's see. Select 200 items from your inventory for week one. Divide them into counts of 50 a day from Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. It's for day 50 to I me mean, each day makes 200, right? So keep track on daily accuracy, variance of percentages, localized cause of errors, incorrect mental record, accurately count and record all items. Select another 200. Yeah, makes sense for the week two. Mm -hmm. And keep Checking until accuracy exceeds ninety seven percent for a minimum of two weeks. Yeah, I think it's fine. Maybe, maybe <laughs> we did our best. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it would be nice if we have somebody. Uh, yeah, an expert in the area, but by you know coincidence in life, nobody has the experience. I guess in the in the whole class. As I was double checking, what I think, not bad, no bad, no bad. Actually, we should get a screenshot. And why? Wait a second. 
why I don't have this one. Maybe. Ouch. As a reference, maybe it works. I was like repeating numbers. Should. Okay, let's see what it looks like. No, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness, what did I do? Oh, right, it keeps raining. So let's have the last attendance for everybody to go to sleep. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Ah, what's wrong with this rain in October? Okay. Abby, it's, it's because here. of a tropical storm from Nicaragua. Oh, really? Yes. You already I saw the, the news the from Moises Urbina, so I don't know. The weather report. <laughs> 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 the weather forecast. Well, Abby is not here today. Abilio is not here. Elizabeth. I guess some people had issues with uh the internet. Emerson. Present. Oh, you're still here. Fernando. Hi. Francisco <laughs> left already. Then we got uh, Luis Miguel. Not here. Not here. Manuel. Marilyn. Yeah, teacher, I'm here. Oh, you're still here. All right. <laughs> okay. Manuel. Manuel. Marilyn. Yes, Mario. Roberto. Yes, Ronald, I guess Ronald left. I saw a couple of messages. Double check. Yeah, I think Ronald left already. Victor, Vidal, Valdir, Carlos. Well, hope you have a wonderful night. God bless you. Thanks, teacher. You too. See you when I see you. Bye. I hope to see you tomorrow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Take care. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good evening, teacher. Yeah, hey, good night. Sorry. Good night. Thank you.